everyone, my name is Nona, and I'm a naturalist down at Dana Wharf Whale Watching, and here we are stuck inside. So I thought I would do a little kitchen chemistry with you, talk about whales, do a little science today, and come up with some things that you could do at home while you're staying safe inside. So today we're going to start out by talking about whales and how they're grouped into two different groups. Now whales are grouped by their feeding strategy, and what I mean by that is how they eat. Some whales are toothed whales, and they're called odontocetes because they have teeth in their mouth. They don't chew their food though, boys and girls, they just bite and swallow. Other whales are called baleen whales, or the fancy word mystocete, and these are the whales that have baleen plates that hang down in their mouth. Now, of these two groups of whales, and all whales are either a toothed whale or a baleen whale, our baleen whales are the biggest, and the biggest animal that has ever lived on this earth is a baleen whale. It is the blue whale down here. Um, and so now we're going to talk about just what does that baleen look like? Well, I actually have some samples. Here's a real piece of a baleen that came from a gray whale. Here's a smaller one that I think is just a little front piece that probably came from a humpback whale. And boys and girls, this is a piece from a bowhead whale. Now I was reading that these can get as big as four meters long. This is one meter right here. Let's see how long my piece of bowhead baleen is. There's one meter, two meters, Mine's a little more than two meters. Do you know the bowhead whale has the largest mouth in the entire animal kingdom? So, how do whales eat? They either have teeth and they bite and swallow, or they have this baleen that's made out of the same material as your fingernails, keratin, and they filter feed. Let's see if we can practice that in our kitchen. So over here, I have my little tiny sea of science and inside it I just went around and got some things from my house. I have some marbles, I have some little toys I had. I went outside, I cut some grass, I'm going to sprinkle a little parsley. Now the tiny things are going to represent some of the food that baleen whales eat. For instance, we've all heard that baleen whales eat krill. This is actually real krill. There's about one, two, three, four, five, I think I have ten krill in there. Do you know that the largest animal that ever lived on this earth, the blue whale, eats these tiny, tiny animals and they say they can eat up to 8,000 of the pounds of krill a day. But not all baleen whales eat krill. Here's a picture of a humpback whale and a humpback whale has small um, anchovies in its mouth. So some of these animals eat fish and have baleen in their mouth as well. So how does the baleen work? Well, the baleen hangs down from the top of their mouth. They have two rows of baleen on either side of their mouth. Here's a picture from a gray whale of that baleen hanging down from its mouth, just like that. Inside their mouth, they have two large page, uh, plates. Now this is kind of a sad picture. It was taken from a gray whale that died but a scientist was able to go over and take out one of the plates. So that's from one side of its mouth with all these little plates that hang down. So when a baleen whale wants to eat, it opens its mouth, it takes in a huge volume of water and has the food inside there. Then it closes its mouth and it thrusts its tongue to the top. When it does that, the water goes out through the baleen the food gets caught inside and then they take their tongue, kind of like when you play with food sometimes, and kind of suck it all up into a ball and swallow it. So we're gonna come over here and first we're gonna pretend that we're a baleen whale. So here we go. What a baleen whale is gonna do is filter its food. So if I go through here and do this and lift it up, I'm not gonna be able to keep the big things, but I can keep the small things, and that's what the baleen does, it filters. Now, a toothed whale grabs its food and eats it. What I want you to do at home is think about this. Can you design a better way to be a baleen whale? Because I want you to come up with something that not only scoops, but forces the water out. Use the things in your house and make a baleen whale at home.
Thank you, boys and girls.